Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the T-52 GMLE. The T-52 GMLE is a plasma-based explosive launcher used by the Covenant before and during the Human Covenant War, and is made by Assembly Forges. Plasma launchers in concept have been in elite service since the War of Beginnings era, with the Zealous Clan employing them in 850 BCE. The T-52 GMLE enters service in the Covenant several centuries prior to the Human Covenant War in the 26th century, and remained a staple of elite warriors and armored detachments right up until the war's end in 2552. The T-52 GMLE is a shoulder-fired heavy plasma weapon. When firing, the weapon is capable of launching of up to four explosive guided plasma bolts at a single target, with each bolt similar to the plasma grenades. How many shots are fired depends on the charge time. The wielder may release the trigger at any time to fire the charged shots, and the weapon will automatically fire after four bolts have been ready for three seconds. The bolts track vehicles and bipeds similar to the T-33 GML, although slightly differently. A red reticle will appear around the target to indicate the launcher is locked on. The bolts will continue to track until they hit a target or another object, regardless of the death of the operator being redirected by physical impulses or the target teleporting across vast distances. Trademarks on this gun include red covenant markings at the back, some white markings on the body, a couple more near the rear grip, a white covenant symbol near the foregrip, and some more red markings going towards the front. Now this is the part where I highlight a weapon's features, but this gun is so alien that I have no idea what to highlight other than the cool rotating barrel at the front, and the body slightly opens up when holding down the trigger. The plasma launcher has this cool holographic sight only on the left side. This weapon is also capable of zooming in as well. The T-52 GMLE handles ammo pretty weirdly, so here's some text on the screen. These are my findings and tests I found out. For the most part, this gun holds 12 plasma bolts, no matter how many are charged up and regardless of the battery capacity. Getting the rate of fire took a bit of brainstorming and testing considering charging up to 1 to 4 shots could affect the rate of fire. My conclusion is that firing one shot at a time does result at the fastest rate of fire which I got 60 rounds per minute. Max effective range is 45.9 meters. And the max effective range while zooming in is 137.32 meters. Moving on to blast radius results, I got 6 meters as the max blast radius. The shield break radius I got was around 3.24 meters. As for the kill radius, there is none. You must stick the plasma bolt onto a player in order to get a kill. Even if there is one underneath their feet, it takes two to kill. This is actually stupid. A plasma grenade is able to kill right underneath the player's feet, but not a plasma launcher? That's fucking bullshit.
and that's the plasma launcher. Overall, it's good, but I feel I could use some adjustments. I know in the beta of this game it was very strong, but definitely the fact that one plasma bolt doesn't kill right underneath your feet is really stupid. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel, and let me know your thoughts on the Halo Reach Plasma Launcher in the comments below. And until next time, peace.